there's been a lot of chatter online, a lot of criticism over the idea of you inviting the cameras into something as personal as Babs's funeral. It really pissed me off. Nobody gives me extra money for like putting my trauma on, on screen. I love you so much, sweetheart. I'll see you in heaven. My big, fat, fabulous life. How are you feeling going into this season? Well, I think it's obviously the hardest season to go into, um, being that it's the first season without my mom. And the first episode specifically, I think it's going to be really hard for my family to watch because I think a lot of people can relate. I don't really remember the funeral that much. Uh, really? Was, yeah, but I think, you know, mentally, you're kind of in another place. And so um, just to even see the the promo for the first episode to actually see it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, took my breath away. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to, to getting that episode over with. Um, mm -hmm. And then and moving on from there, honestly. So I, it's the craziest season we've ever had. And, and you know, the saddest, obviously, because I've always thought that my mom was really the star of the show. And we would always joke that, you know, I was just the vehicle that brought her oh. to the world. So um, it's definitely really hard to do it without her. But she also um, would have wanted that, of course. I don't know how we're going to go on without her, but... I know that she would want us to figure it out. I want to offer you my heart, my sincerest condolences. How are you doing? To be honest, I feel like the last two months have been more difficult than all the time since she died. I would just, of course, I think about her every day. and mm -hmm. But the last two months, I, I would find myself kind of getting stuck on thoughts more and definitely crying more. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm a crier. I am a huge crier and I, and all my friends at the same, they're shocked at how little I actually like cried. Um, so I don't know if, I think maybe, I don't know a lot about grief, but I'm wondering if like my brain was kind of protecting me. I've also started dreaming about her and I, I never dreamed about her until recently. So I think my brain has been like shutting things off to kind of protect myself maybe. And it's starting to come out now. Yeah. Um, so I think definitely, of course, and, and then this episode and the whole season starting is going to is going to be hard. But ultimately, in the bigger picture, I'm I'm doing much better than I ever thought. I mean, I used to say, like, you'll have to hospitalize me when my parents die. Like, I, there's no way I can even live, you know, and I've been thinking about this since I was like 10. So, oh, um, I, yeah, <laughs> like obsessively, I'm constantly in existential crisis. But um, from that perspective, I'm actually doing, uh, you know, much better than I ever thought that I would. And when I think about, uh, you know, having, you know, strength to get through something or um, it just always comes back to my mom. I just think like all of this was just a gift that my mother gave me. Um, and we had the best year of our lives with her, her last year or her last 11 months. Um, absolutely the most incredible year. Said everything I ever needed to say to her, heard everything I ever needed to hear. And my mother literally gave me everything except that she, you know, she couldn't live forever. That's so good to hear. And I honestly, truly believe I'm a very spiritual person. I believe you dreaming about her is her way of visiting you, you know, her way of staying connected to you. Are you going to watch the season premiere of My Big Fat Fabulous Life? Yes. You um, are. How do you think that's yes, going to feel for you? Well, it, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be really difficult, but it's not something that I could be comfortable knowing, like, you know, a million people have seen this and I haven't, you know? Uh, so definitely um, I, I'm gonna watch it and I have no doubts mm -hmm. that it'll be beautiful and be done as tastefully and as, as wonderfully as can be because my crew um, loved her so much and she loved them so much and the show meant everything to her really. So, um, you know, and it was a way also like for them to grieve and for them to support us and all of yeah. this. So I, I know that they, would have taken um, the utmost care with it. And I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing it, but it's just one of those things where like, the anticipation is, um, I just want it to, to see it be over with. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And I have to imagine it's a form of catharsis knowing that though your mom is no longer with us, there are so many millions of people around the world who watch this show, yeah. who are gonna watch this episode and hopefully seeing so many people pay tribute and celebrate Babs yeah. in this way will bring them healing and peace. And I have to ask you because there's been a lot of chatter online, a lot of criticism over the idea of you inviting the cameras into something as personal as Babs's funeral. 
Right. Tell me, what, what did you make of all of that noise going on? Well, it really pissed me off, Deidre, <laughs> as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, the first assumption is that, um, you know, this is something that I'm doing for money. And I kind of just, sometimes you just want to shake the internet collectively. And I wanted to be like, I don't make any more money, no matter what mm -hmm. I film. Nobody gives me extra money for like putting my trauma on, on screen. I've been dealing with this for a decade and people are insane and people hate me and whatever. When mm -hmm. it starts to involve my family, it's a lot harder. And when it starts to involve my dead mother, it's the hardest. Um, you know, the assumption that it was my decision at all. It was my father's decision. My father wanted the funeral to be public. Nothing makes him happier than people loving my mother. Oh. It, it's, he is so proud of her and so obsessed with her. And he likens it to, you know, she's a public figure. She was loved pub publicly and I want her to be more in publicly. I know that it was obviously a really challenging day for you. Were there ever any moments where you maybe said to your crew, I need you to give me five. I can't deal with this right now. You need to just kind of like a, a personal moment. Um, no, because they really left me completely alone. I mean, um, and in Respectful. fact, it, it, it's, well, they're, yeah, they're, my production crew is like my family. Uh, I mean, the people who are here in the field and filming, I, I couldn't, I wouldn't do this if I didn't enjoy my life every day with them. There wouldn't be enough reward for me. <laughs> um, but in fact, it, it made it easier. It was just like our friends and people who love us supporting us. And, you know, they put a mic on me and then they disappeared. So it, it, it didn't affect us negatively at all. And in fact, it felt more supportive, like a more supportive environment, which I think is kind of people probably would be surprised by that. But yeah. Babs, like you said before, a true star in so many yeah. ways. Yes. What do you think she would make of the decision to put her funeral on TV? Oh, I think she would have loved it. My mom was the biggest. And I think you know this if you know my mom. She was a ham. I mean, that's why we always <laughs> joke that it's a vehicle for her. You know, I didn't know it was like it, it, it was the biggest part of her life. She loved filming it. She loved doing it. She loved the attention. Um, and she knows what our intentions are. Yeah. Uh, she knows we're not trying to exploit her or that we're not like making money off of her or anything like that. Like it's a uh, celebration. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, she would absolutely, um, have supported. We did have an open casket for the viewing, you know, we had her favorite hair makeup artist, the same wonderful uh, woman who did my hair and makeup today. She came in down to the funeral home and did mom's hair and makeup, you know, with her signature lipstick. And we did her wow. favorite. I mean, everything, you know, we did everything exactly. In fact, my dad was trying to put this one necklace on her that did not go with the top. And I didn't know how to tell him. I was like, daddy, um, <laughs> I said, but I said, think about all the pictures with mommy in this top, like she never wearing a necklace. And he was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> We did your, everything. Your fashion <laughs> expertise just needed to have a little moment there. <laughs> you know, this is his wife. You know, he was, I was like, Daddy, I don't, you know, think about what mommy would have wanted. She didn't want, you know. Right. So yeah, I'm fully yeah. confident that we did everything. Um, we loved my mother. She knew mm -hmm. how loved she was. I know that she, not a question in my mind that she would okay. be upset about this.